there. This is probably the second part of the video. Ignore my first part because that's actually when I had broken my car. So I actually ordered my water pump. It looks different because it usually has a black end on it, but this time it has a, a small silver part. Sorry that I'm shirtless, but I'm trying to pick up some stuff. I'm going to take a shower and then work on my car. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking off all the faded parts that were supposed to be black, like um, uh, some, like the side skirt. Side skirt's supposed to be black. It's not black. What the fuck are my pants? I'm just going to wear these. Yep. That's how I pick clothes. Okay, so the side skirt, the front panel where the air actually goes in, like the induct, right behind the hood scoop and where the, like the lining of the window, that, I'm also going to put some paper on the window and I'm going to paint that part black. Um, the lining of the window, um, not the other one, I said that bad, okay. What I mean is that I'm going to paint the part of the window on the passenger and driver's side the little black piece that goes over it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint in the front the black piece in front of it where the air duct is at that I'm gonna paint so I'm gonna shower because it's really hot and I had a really long day so I'm gonna do that and I got some spray paint I'm gonna show you the one that I'm gonna use today just in case you guys want to replicate this oh I forgot there's no light in my room so this is like a semi gloss black but I also have um, a clear coat there. So this is for the engine. This was when I was trying to paint my um, my lights. Because I did paint my lights and I'll show you that real quick. But um, this is when I was trying to paint them. I wanted a high heat one. But the one that I normally use was $11. They raised the fucking price. Because that bitch was 8 bucks, And I was not going to pay $11. This was 9 something. So, I got this one. I mean, it's alright. It could be better. Um, here's something to show you. So, it's kind of like this. This is the color that I painted. And, I mean, it's an okay color. Like, it could be better, you know what I mean? But, it's good for what I need it for right now. Um, I'm going to sand it a little bit. Um, because I want to paint the stick. And, as you can see, like... I'm fucking sweating. It's hot and my room doesn't work. I don't know what happened. So yep, I'm using this paint and paint the panels and well um let's get to it. Alright, I'm back. Just got out. Okay, so let's go and get this bad boy and I was about to grab. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is this semi? Let's just grab this too. Primary Laker paint. Okay, got it. Ah. So it's a gloss clear with a semi gloss black. I like glossy. I like to look shiny. Alrighty. I don't have shoes on, so this is amazing. So, first of all, we had to take off the side skirts. I'm gonna show you what I meant. Okay. Serp. This part is what I'm gonna take off. Well, this part. This part, I'm gonna maybe today. This right here, this whole thing, I'm gonna tape off the window and then put and then paint this and this and the side skirts. But for right now, I'm gonna focus on the side skirts. And I don't know, but y'all should comment if I get a comment saying I should. Um, I might paint this black. Um. And yeah, that's about it. Let me go and jack up my car to take out my side skirt. Okay, so to take off this side skirt, I had to delete some footage because my phone wants to be a bitch. So, this is what you're going to do. Right here, as you can see, there's these screws. You have to put your flathead right under there and push out. And then, if you want, push under here and then it'll plop out. Then, you get your side skirt and you, like, pull out. And all that dirtiness comes out and you just repeat the step on the other side and don't break those clips because I don't know where to get some so I'm screwed side skirts were dirty really dirty 
know if I haven't put it in a video, I got stuck somewhere once and my car was literally under mud. So what I'm gonna do is just clean them off because the only thing I can do is gonna clean these and get back to you in a moment. Whoop. So as you can see right now they kinda look they're like not even trying to mess with you. They're like gray. You'll see it's gray compared to this is the color I want this is the color it is so I'm just gonna sand right here where it actually is noticeable just these one two and three this spot and then when I paint it one two and three will be noticing noticeable so one two three all this is gonna be sanded the back will be painted too just so it looks good but it's not going to be painted as detailed as this spot because it will be getting scratched. So, I'm not going to waste my time with it. But, let's get started on sanding. I am going to be using 25,000 grit because it is plastic and I'm not going to dig into it that much. And then, I'll get my spray gun ready and show you guys what I'm doing. So, I finished wiping it down. I sanded it a bit. It doesn't look like much, actually. Let me focus this. It doesn't look like much, but I did sand it. And I'm going to paint it now. And this is how it looks. I'm going to show you. It's a, it's, it's a good product. I'm not going to lie. It's just not... Ugh, I don't know how to explain it. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start painting it now. So, I'm going to use this. I'm going to hook it everything up. And I'm going to see how it looks. So, this is it now. And let's see, focus, and now go. Wait, 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 I did it wrong. So, this is what I've gotten after one coat. And I'm not gonna lie, it's fucking terrible. You're my worst paint job ever. Probably because there's so much sand on it, and I couldn't get it all. But. I mean, shit, it's black, so I guess it's okay. Plus, I'm going to be replacing these soon anyway, so. It sucks, but I can't do much. And the paint can is not doing what I want it to do. How to switch out the tip. So, I mean, in a bit, I'm going to put a clear. For now, I'm just going to leave it how it is. I did quite a few off camera, literally quite a few. Looks like a mess over there, but I mean, it's good. So I did paint it and it did fix itself. So that's a good thing. And yeah, there's like little bits and pieces like right here. You can see, yeah, you can see it now. You can see it right there. And then this is all right. So it kind of fixed itself with the second coat, more like I was filling it in. And then, yeah, yeah, same difference. Da 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 da. Yeah, just back here and right about here. That's about all that's, that's bad. Over here, there's a perfect example. I forgot to clean before I actually did this, but who cares? I painted it. I actually painted it. Why is there an ant? Over spray. Don't worry, I'll take that off. Easy. But yeah, I'm gonna do another coat. I kind of painted this too because they're kind of getting rusted. As you can see here, I didn't paint up here because I want to change those out because they're actually really bad. But I mean, it came out decent. Not gonna say perfect, but it came out decent. There's some little things here and there because I had to actually take off the the thing because I got it was such a tight space and I did I did pretty well just next coat over we'll fix it and then clear on top that's about it and then I'm gonna clean that and I'm gonna put my car back together because since the last video I haven't done that that's about it I'm gonna show you guys the finishing product so and take out the little snapping bit what I'm doing right now is I'm actually cleaning the bottom so Kind of just going under it like this and then cleaning it making sure it's clean before i put it on because why not it's just 
Something I feel like I should do that not a lot of people would do. They'll just be like, oh, it's not being seen, slap it on. Like, no. I haven't cleaned the inside of my door panel. That's another thing. I'm going to show you what else I'm doing in a bit. And there you go. I think it's a big difference from what it was. Um, all you have to do is literally just clip it on. I wasn't going to show it, but I'll try and show it for that one. And yeah, you just clip it on. Now you go under and you're going to put those pins back in. And how you do that is this is already closed. What you're going to do is you grab this and then you're going to push it back into place. And then you just boop and it goes in. All right, so for this, you're going to take your piece. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. You're going to set it in one area over there like that then everything else should line up and then you just play with it and push it in and there you go and okay there you don't go <laughs> well you get the point so bye